Good morning class. Today we're working on adding fractions again, but today we're going to talk about adding fractions with unlike denominators. We've been working on adding fractions with a common denominator such as one half plus one half, and that's equal to two over two, or it's equal to one. Now we're looking at adding fractions that have unlike denominators. And if we look at number one, we have one third plus one half. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm working to get a common denominator. I can see here that I have three and two as my denominators. And I'm looking for the least common multiple. So I have to think to myself, what are some multiples of three and two? And this is one where we can actually multiply it by each other. And anything we do to the top, we do to the bottom. So if I come over to this side, I'm going to multiply three times two, which is equal to six. And then I have to multiply the top as well by three. And three times one is equal to three. And then on this one, I'm going to multiply it by 2, and 3 times 2 is equal to 6, and I'm going to multiply the top by 2, and 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Now I have 2 sixths plus 3 sixths, and because I've created a common denominator here, I can go ahead and add straight across the top. My denominator remains the same. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, and my answer here is 5 sixths. When we're looking for the least common multiple, you can see that in number 2, we have 10 and 5. And so that we can make 5 is a factor of 10. So we can make both a common denominator of 10 pretty easily. When it comes to 9 and 6, we know that 18 works because 9 times 2 is 18 and 6 times 3 is 18. But when we come to one like number 4, for example, where we have 5 30 seconds plus 1 fourth. We have to figure out if 4 is a factor of 32. And after the multiplication practice we've done this year in reflex, we know that 4 times 8 is equal to 32. So we can get a common denominator of 32 by multiplying by 8. 4 times 8 is equal to 32, and whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. 8 times 1 is equal to 8. So now we have 5 30 seconds plus 8 30 seconds, and 5 plus 8 is equal to 13 30 seconds, and then we have 30 seconds for our denominator. So 13 over 32, 13 30 seconds. We're going to go ahead and look at number 8 together. Um, number 8 is 3 sevenths plus 1 third. And 3 cannot go into 7, and so this is one where we're going to multiply them by each other. 7 times 3 is equal to 21, as is 3 times 7 is equal to 21. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 7 on this side. And 1 times 7 is equal to 7, and 3 times 7 is equal to 21. We're going to do the same over here. We're going to multiply this side, top and bottom, by 3. And we're going to get 3 times 3 is equal to 9, and 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Now we have 9 over 21 plus 7 over 21, which is equal to 16 21sts, or 16 over 21. So finding that common denominator, remember if you find the least common multiple of the numbers, it's going to make your multiplication and your problem much easier. We're going to go ahead and look at some of our word problems here. Number 10. Of the people who attended a school play, 5 twelfths were students and 1 eighth were teachers. What fraction of the total audience were students or teachers? And so it's asking students or, which is actually kind of a odd way of saying that it's either one or the other. So we have to add those together. And so it's 5 twelfths plus the 1 eighth. And now we have to come up with a common denominator. And we know that 8 can't go into 12 evenly. So we're going to figure out what the least common multiple is. And if I went through and I figured out my multiples of 8, I'd have 8, 16, And so we're going to go ahead and do our multiplication now. 
and we can see that 8 times 3 is equal to 24. Whatever I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator. So 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And now we're going to work on the other side. 12 times 2 is equal to 24. Whatever I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator. So I have to multiply by 2. And 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So now I have 10 24 plus 3 24 and my denominator stays the same in an addition problem, and 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. And so 13 24 of the audience were students or teachers. And you can write were students or teachers. And I want you to make sure that you're using the space provided over here to show all your work for your word problems and you can work on 11 and 12 and 13 on your own. When you finish today's work, please take a picture of it, attach it to your assignment in Teams and then turn it in. Thank you.